There's a hidden reason why people are aging faster than they should be, and it's really important. Unfortunately, many people don't worry about aging until they actually start to see the signs, but you need to know this at any age. If we have too much iron in our bodies, we simply don't live as long and it's connected to iron deficiency anemia. You might think, if most of us are low in iron and we get iron from our diet, then that should help, right? But here's the thing, we're actually accumulating more and more iron, and that's the problem. There's an amazing research paper by Professor Bruce Ames, I'll link it below, that explores the difference between old and young tissue when it comes to iron. Now you might be thinking, I don't drink hydrogen peroxide, so how is that a problem? Well, your body actually produces hydrogen peroxide naturally. Our immune system uses it to fight off microbes, but if that system gets out of balance, things can go wrong. I believe what happens with anemic kids is that they have something called dysfunctional iron, where the iron is locked up and can't be used by red blood cells, so they become anemic. We keep adding iron to our food supply, and then we wonder why it's not helping. It might even be making things worse. Too much iron puts you at a higher risk for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, cancer, and heart disease because it creates something called oxidative stress. Think of oxidation like rusting. To prevent rust, you need antioxidants. You can get antioxidants from food and supplements, but your body also makes its own antioxidants, which are even more important than the ones you get from food. Many people have chronic infections and inflammation, and as we get older, we naturally accumulate more iron. Here's a breakdown of how iron works in your body. About 70% of your iron is stored in a protein in your blood called hemoglobin, which carries oxygen. Think of this like a big bowl that stores iron. Then you have ferritin, which is like a small teacup, holding about 10% of your iron. Ferritin is supposed to be inside your tissues, where it protects you from free iron and controls its release. When you see high levels of ferritin in your blood, it can be a sign of a problem. Your body is constantly recycling your red blood cells every 120 days, creating new ones. This system recycles iron very efficiently. There are all sorts of mechanisms, proteins and processes involved in transporting and protecting iron because, as we said, it can be very reactive. Your body doesn't want too much free iron floating around because certain pathogens, bad microbes, can actually feed on iron. Infections love iron and they'll steal it for fuel. Our bodies don't want that so they hold on to iron and keep it in safe places. But because of this dysfunctional iron issue, your poor red blood cells can't get the iron they need while you have way too much iron stored in your tissues. And unfortunately, iron can increase the growth of cancer. There are also a lot of people who feel much better after donating blood. This could be a sign that they have too much iron. But if you don't address the root cause, donating blood is just a temporary solution. So what is the underlying cause? There's some fascinating research about copper. Copper is a very important trace mineral. If you have too much iron and not enough copper, that's a big problem. But before you start taking copper supplements, I recommend limiting the amount of iron you're exposed to. I would never take any supplement with iron. What foods are high in copper? Shellfish, organ meats like beef liver, sunflower seeds, dark chocolate, make sure it's not loaded with sugar. How do we ensure our bodies are producing enough antioxidants to combat oxidative stress? To illustrate this, let me share a personal experience. There's a very detailed test you can do called a metabolomic test. I was doing this test very frequently, like every two weeks, and it kept showing high levels of oxidative stress. I thought, that's strange. After looking into it more, I realized I was exercising a lot, and exercise creates a lot of oxidative stress and hydrogen peroxide. To counter that, I needed to boost my antioxidant reserves, and for that, I needed more glutamine, an amino acid found in red meat. I adjusted my diet, retested myself, and my results were much better. Alcohol, smoking, pollution, junk food. When we think of antioxidants, we often think of vitamin C and vitamin E which are important and you should definitely get from your diet. I have a good friend who's a foot surgeon, and she told me that whenever she performs surgery, she notices the muscles aren't a healthy pink or red color. 
They're kind of gray, which is likely a sign of anemia. The problem with vegans is that they often have to take iron supplements, and they're not getting heme iron, which is only found in animal products like meat. I'm not saying you shouldn't be vegan or vegetarian, but it can be difficult to get all the nutrients you need. Besides copper, there are other things that help build up your antioxidants. Zinc and manganese, found in shellfish and seafood magnesium selenium, another trace mineral. What else can you do to reduce iron in your tissues, besides avoiding iron and boosting your internal antioxidant network? Quercetin. One of the best sources is onions. Curcumin, found in turmeric. Melatonin. Increasing your melatonin can be very helpful. I have a whole video on this, I'll link it below. One of the best ways to increase melatonin is through infrared light. Over 50% of the sun's rays are infrared, and infrared light boosts melatonin production. Melatonin can help regulate iron. Tannins, found in black tea. Lactoferrin. This is the most powerful chelator for iron, meaning it binds to iron and helps remove it. You can get it from raw milk or raw milk cheese, or as a supplement. The next time you get a blood test, make sure they include ferritin. You want that number as close to zero as possible. I hope I've emphasized this enough for you to take action. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.